Hey everybody, it's Chris Demetric here from TDW Woodworks, and if you want to hang with me for the next six minutes, I'll show you how I've made this cool scroll saw segmentation duck. Alright, so I'm starting out sketching out a basic outline of the duck. Once I've got that basic outline, I'll go ahead and draw in all of the little segmentations. Now, you can certainly just go to Google and do an image search of a, of a duck. You should be able to find something that'll work well for you. Now what I want to use is this four quarter um, waterbed frame that I found on the side of the road. To full, you know, two inches and I'll just mount it to there. Uh, in hindsight, I probably should have sanded that board first because that discoloration was kind of hard to get off, but spray it on, attach it, and cut it down to size on the bandsaw there. Now what I'm doing here is I put in a quarter inch bandsaw blade and I figured if I could just cut the outside this will go really quick, quicker than going on the scroll saw and uh, then it's all prepared and I can cut all the inside cuts with the uh, scroll saw. But anyways now I'm going to go ahead and cut out each segment um, using the scroll saw. Once I just separate everything out I'll round it all over and we'll put it back together and coming along pretty cool. And now I'm just treating it like it was a uh, puzzle and I'm separating out each individual piece. Okay, and now we're gonna take each piece and we're gonna start rounding over all the edges. And I like to leave the paper on instead of peeling it off because sometimes I wanna draw sort of like what the curve is gonna be. Um, and then I'll take it off at the end. But now it's just a matter of shaping, lots of dust, lots of sanding, mostly using my one inch um, belt sander, uh, my oscillating spindle sander, my belt sander, you know, it's just whatever works for you. We'll start rounding over the edges. All right, just getting a little uh, one inch belt sander I got from Harbor Freight. And uh, I like to clamp on a little board so that I have uh, zero clearance. And then a piece of uh, carpet padding. I'll tape down a piece of uh, 100 grit sandpaper and the padding will allow me to kind of shape and form it um, because it kind of, you know, has a little plushness to it. You know, this is the part I really enjoy. I just put on some classic rock. I start rounding over the edges um, and uh, really start forming it. You know, it's not really carving but it's sort of like power carving so you really have a little bit of uh, you know, a little bit of a leeway and just take your time and the Dremel tool does help a lot for those inside curves and uh, that's it. Just take my time and get all the pieces all prepared and then lay them out. See nice and smooth. You know, sanding pine will make it clog up pretty quickly, so just get that uh, rubber block you use for uh, conditioning your sandpaper and perfect. Just like new, ready to go on with the next, uh, next piece. Now I'll just remove the paper and she's all ready to start the painting process. I lay out my uh, paints. I got some uh, flow trail which actually softens up the paint a little bit makes it flow a little easier because I want sort of a, not a thick gloppy paint but more of a wash on it and that does seem to help a little bit all right everything's painted pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and put it all back together like it's a puzzle and then we'll glue it together pretty cool now the glue I use is I use a CNO calculator or CA glue and I use what's called the gap filling glue kind of really makes up for the difference in maybe if it was sanded a little too much and you need some activator and just bit piece it together it'll take a little while but take your time with it and be careful because I burnt my fingers on that activator
Okay, so now you can finish it any way you want. Um, I kind of leave it just kind of kind of weathered look. You could sand it down, you could hit it with some some lacquer, but there she is, all taken care of, and it's two-sided. It's got kind of a cool look to it. I think it will look good on a mantle or as a nice gift for somebody, but watching. This is Chris. Oh! oh my god. I just knocked over my lamp. Gotta buy a new one. Hey, thanks for watching. <sighs> Lame. Ha, 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 ha.